Good morning from Nebraska. What a beautiful day. There's no wind. Sun's not long up. Cows are getting plenty to eat. This is interesting to me. It's always interesting. Water has enormous capacity to hold heat. Now, a couple of days ago, we had a sharp temperature change with a lot of north wind. Constant 30 mile an hour, sometimes gusting to 40, almost 50 miles an hour wind. Air temperature was down below freezing, down into the 20s. And at night, when the wind continued to blow, the uh, air temperature uh, dropped down into the teens. So the combination of a cool air temperature and wind wicked the heat away from these stock tanks and uh, froze the surface layer of water and the layer around the perimeter next to the alum or next to the steel. Uh, it froze those to about two inches, and that represented a lot of energy transfer from the water which has a great capacity to hold heat as I said into the atmosphere it was a little bit surprising because it usually doesn't work that way in the beginning of the cold weather it usually we usually get a little skim of ice like this and uh, it takes a while for the water to cool down to the point where it's more easily frozen by um, by cold temperatures. So that being said, I chopped the ice. Um, when the storm abated, the cows came over and drank. They drank the tank probably almost all the way dry. It filled back up with uh, water from the well, which was considerably warmer. And there wasn't a lick of ice in here when that process had finished. So now we'll run over and look at the, uh, at the other stock tank, which the cattle did not drink from. 